Hello everyone. So welcome back to this channel once again. And uh, today in this video session, I'll discuss or start with the uh, RPG reoperation codes. So we'll start from the very basic and we'll move towards uh, others in the next videos. So the first uh, operation code is related with the arithmetic operation code that is add op code. So I'll explain you how we'll be using the add op code in RPGLE. So let's move on to the IBM I. So here you can see I have one example, uh, this one. So you can see we can add uh, two numeric numbers. So that could be either uh, standalone variables or an array or an array element or a constant or even the table fields as well. So we can add them. Uh, the, the prerequisite must be uh, that is they must have be the numeric numbers. Now you can see first thing what I did here is this one I used add of code so this is factor 2 let me open it in edit mode so that I can tell you I can show you the factor 2 and result thing so this is the operation code this is the factor 2 and this is the result so what I'm doing is um, I have defined num1 here that is to pack 0 and this is initialized with value 10 so initial value of num1 is 10 now what this does is this adds this factor 2 to the num1 and plays the result in num1 so num1 initially is 10 and then 10 is added to the num1 and it becomes 20 okay now the same way this one but here you can see uh, num2 is not initialized or uh, defined above in these specs so this is defined here in the C specs itself as 2 pack 0 and uh, so the initial value would be 0 here for num2 and 10 is added to the num2 and plays in the num2 so the num2 will finally uh, value 10 after executing this line now this is something different from this particular line above line so here you can see we have provided factor 1 as well so this is optional to provide so when we provide factor 1 and factor 2 so in that case factor 1 gets added with factor 2 and the result is placed in this result variable so num1 is added to num2 and the result is placed in total variable and total is defined here as you can see we can define the total here as well if you want or num2 here as well so uh, num1 was become 20 here and num2 was 10 so the total will be 30 now here you can see we have declared some arrays of two damage uh, two array elements and two p0 is the size of the array so we have evaluated the values in array elements respectively in array 1 and array 2. Now what we are doing is I am adding array. So I am adding array 1 to the array 2 and placing the results in array 2. So what happened in this case uh, array 1 first element will get added to the array 2 first element uh, that is 3 plus 3 uh, becomes 6. So that would be placed in the array 2 first element. So array 2 first element element will now have 6 and array 2 second element will now have 2 plus 2 that is 4. And the same way here you can see array 1 added with the array 2. So elements 1 with elements 1 of array 2 gets added and array element array 1 element 2 second element and array 2 second element gets added. And the result will be get placed in the array 3. So basically, uh, the same way the number gets added or the standalone variable gets added, the array also gets added. 
here you can see we added the uh, specific array element that is first element of uh, array 1 with the first element of array 2 and placing the result in array 3 first element so we can uh, mention uh, the desired element here which you want to add we can uh, even have array array 1 second element adding with the array 2 first element and placing the result in array 3 uh, second element so the same way here you can see um, I'm adding array 1 second element with the array 2 second element and placing the result in the array 2 second element here you can see I'm adding the constant c1 which is defined here having value of 2 and placing the result in the r1 so basically adding constant this to r1 and placing the result in itself r1 uh, here I'm adding constant 1 and constant 2 and placing the result in r1 and at last the last equal indicator to set is set 1 so if I compile this program using option 14 that is create bind rpg command just debug view source you set this compile this just use strdbg command add is the program name just set this as tires tires Now set the breakpoint at line number one and call this program named at. So you can see uh, initially num1 is 10 and 10 is added to this and now becomes num1. Now 20, it, it becomes 20. After this num2 is initially 0, 10 added to it, it becomes 10. So num1 is 20 now and num2 is 10. So the total would be 30 because this gets added to this and paste in this array 1 array 2 are initialized now array 1 gets added to array 2 so if you see array 1 3 2 and array 2 3 2 so finally the array 2 will array 2 will be 6 4 you can see 3 gets added with 3 2 gets added with 2 so 6 and 4 the same way array 1 added with the array 2 and place in the array 3 that is 9 and 6 because array 2 now becomes 6 and 4 and this is 3 and 2 6 plus 3 9 and 4 plus 2 is 6 so you can see the result now I will be adding the first element of the array 3 and the second uh, the first element of array 2 3 plus 6 would be 9 again now adding array 1 second element to the array 2 second element that is now becomes 6 adding the constant that is 2 to the r1 will become make it 2 adding two constant c1 and c2 and the result will be 4 now so you can see uh, this is how the add, add operation code works in rpgle so uh, so that's all in this video. Uh, thank you and have a nice time.